Introducing you to the single VAV controller by Avantage Air. So this is depicted by being a red zone motor, you can, as you can see here. And what this does is it's a single room controller, which means you can control the temperature in that one space. It's like a temperature limiting type device, it means that when a room reaches temperature, the zone motor will close, closing the blades, um, so we stop airflow to that room. Now, it doesn't control the unit. It is, you still need a unit controller, and you will have your individual room, room controllers um, set up. So let's go through the parts of it and how do, how do you identify the common issues, set up and test. So in a single VAV uh, control, we're gonna have one zone motor, one supply sensor, a power cable or a beige cable, um, a transformer or power supply, and then the wall controller. All right, that makes up one kit. So, you so this is a common setup. You will find the wall controller, the beige cable, which is the power supply to the zone motor, and then the supply sensor. A little trick for those, um, the supply sensor needs to go upstream of the zone motor, i.e. between the zone motor and the unit. If you put it downstream of the zone motor, then the zone becomes very, very slow to react. Very common scenario, very common issue that we quite often have with the uh, installation. When it was new installs, they're putting it on the wrong side, putting it downstream. When we install the uh, wall, wall controller, find it in you know bedrooms, rumpus rooms, studies, those sorts of things. Um, ideally, 1500 off the ground, so 1.5 meters off the ground as, as a general thermostat height that we like to have the things installed at. And so we basically we drill a hole in the wall, we run the cable down the wall, and then we bring it, bring it out. That, that, this cable runs back to the zone motor. So we just go, we plug in the RJ45 connector into the back of the thermostat. Then we're slotting it, sing it on the top. And then clicking it on. All right, so that's now on the wall. And we've now got it powering up wall controller onto the wall now and as you can see we've got the zone off how do we turn on the zone so this is now in the off position we're going to be stopping airflow to the to the room or the zone motor by the, by the zone motor and then what we're doing if you want to turn it on you press on so it, now it's depicting this is the room temperature in the space that we're in and if you want to heat or cool the room you just dial the temperature up and down as the as the thermo, as the you go up and down, you'll go from a need from heat, need to cool. So whatever this is saying, if it's saying heat, then we need the unit to be in heating to, to achieve that temperature. If they say it's cool, we need the unit to be in cooling to achieve this temperature. Now, this does not control the unit. It only controls the space which is controlling via the zone motor, either opening or closing the zone. Now, when you were, when we open it or turn on the controller, sometimes it takes a while for the zone to open because what happens is the zone will go, all right, I want the open. And then if, if we sit here and watch it for a second, the zone will move, then stop, and then think about it, and then move, and then think, and so forth. So this can take up to five minutes for a zone to fully open. Thank you for watching. We invite you to follow us and also check out our online stores.